Welcome to Welly's World Podcast. I'm your host, Welly Jackson. We a little short staffed today. <laughs> he said we short staffed. Okay. That don't mean nothing though. I'm on one. We already I got my man in the building. The one and only. You know who it is. Another week, another leather. You know that. Looking <laughs> like cash today. Straight cash. Alex Quo is in the building. What's up with y'all? Good morning, good afternoon, good night. It's good to be here. That's what All it comes right. down to. Looking I like, see you, man. You see? Too, look, Tell them what I'm wearing real quick. Looking like a Yankee. <laughs> we got the, the, the Yankee the Yankee blue on today. Right. right. Shout out some other people over at Leather Closet. Got to give them a shout out. Got to, got to. Leather Closet keep you laced, Always, bro. always. I got a few custom pieces coming through. Yo, you don't, y'all not even ready for what he's about to bring out. Like, bro, like, like, bro, I get carried away. I just got a leather <laughs> shirt from them. This nigga don't behave himself. He don't behave himself when he I'm in there. Different, bro. He said he showed me some shit. I was like, boom, give me that in red. He goes, this is a shirt. I was like, in red. I know. He says specifically when we walked in today, I'm just here for him. Yeah, I'm just here for him. I'm, I'm just, cheering him on. I'm it's behaving my man. myself. I ain't doing this two minutes later. You got this yeah, in the <laughs> you, you got this in my size or yeah, yeah. they can try it on women's jackets. He's like, what about this? You got this in men's? <laughs> yeah, I think they gave me the women's one to be funny. <laughs> ah, shout out to shout my out man to Mike that, over man. there at Leather Closet, man. Keep people. me laced. Yo. Man. And that, was, that was funny because I say I'm, I'm in here for him because I, <laughs> I was there the other day. You, you know it's bad when niggas got to convince himself before he convince hey, everybody else. I came in giving him the disclaimer like I'm just, I'm here for him. He said, I I'm said, I'm here to make sure behave, he's good bro. money. Nobody asked him a damn thing. Nobody <laughs> he, asked had to he had to tell us what was going on. He had to tell us what was going on. And then. <laughs> Next thing you know, yo man, y'all got this shit my side. Yeah, he, he the first on. one trying shit on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How on was your week, Quo? Week was a good one, man. I gotta admit, week was eventful. All I right, had, had some things happen this week. I know, you know, people already tuned in, but uh, got featured in the New York Times. That was a good, uh, yeah, was a good one. And you know what's the crazy thing? I didn't even like. I didn't even know you told me how this worked, but I didn't even know that like you know writers was there doing that. But I didn't think it could turn into something like this. Like, for instance, you know, I heard people was going to be at the show, uh -huh. but only afterwards when they start talking to you, asking you what your name and how you spell it is and all that. You don't, <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I knew was something different when the, when the girl was like, what's your name? I said, Alex Quo. She goes, how do you spell Quo? I said, oh, all right. It's different. They didn't ask that. She asked that. So, right. but it's one of those things where it's weird. I've, I've never been featured in, in, in something big like that before. So I ain't never been in no New York Times. That's dope, man. man. Don't downplay that shit. It's talk heavy, hey, man. I'm wearing the leather. I got. I got to talk heavy. Well, true. He said. He said. Every got time to. I get a credit, I get. I get a leather. Yeah. Got to shout out Stand Up New York too. Giving me for you know putting me on their show number one. Shout out to Stand Up New York, man. Got to, man. Yo, John over there doing something really great, you know. But yeah, it's in the New York Times. It's weird. Yeah. Good shit, man. You know, I'm stepping shit. my game up. Flipping my game up. Because I always talk about, you know, when I, I, this is something I told you yesterday and I wanted to bring it back up, right? Because when I first met you, you know, no credits, no hair on my face. <laughs> you was no. fucked up. Let's I was fucked up, this. right? And I used to feel bad sometimes hanging with you because I'm like, <laughs> I used to feel, <laughs> you make it worse. Yeah, it's not even that. It's like, all right, it's you, when I met you, you've already accomplished. You know, you're still doing more things. You're still, you're still trying to get your shit out there. Niggas do more know shit, what right? the kid is. But you've already, you already had a resume when you met me, right? Uh -huh. So here I am. How am I gonna open for you when I ain't done no shit? You know, I used, I, this that's is usually the niggas who be open. Niggas. <laughs> what is like who ain't do shit. the one two punch? Got to look good. Is all I'm nah, looking at. It, you I know, it, you gotta it. hit him with the left hook then the right hook. So I'm just like, all right, if I'm gonna do this, you know, I, I'm just I'm like, how, how you walk around with me when I ain't do shit? You know, that goes credit to I, I deserve a lot of credit. <laughs> you was fucked up, bro. I, I really was. Yo, he used to I wear really Under Armour T-shirts, and I don't mean Under Armour the brand. I mean Under Armour <laughs> the clothing, the cloth. It, it actually, that one shirt you always talk about, like it wasn't dry even, fit shit. It wasn't even Under Armour. It was yeah, it was like Kmart brand. Some, I know. Yeah, it was Kmart. <laughs> it was it's Kmart. no more Kmart. That's what I'm saying. Like get rid of that shit. It it's was bullshit. Kmart brand, and I thought I was fly than a month. Bro, you was yes. not fly, and you like that certain <laughs> shit you supposed to wear when you working out and take off after you finish. Oh, I man. used to think you was a trainer. Yeah, I remember one time somebody said to me, "Look like you just came out the combine," and I took it. Ooh. I took that as a compliment. Who <laughs> said that? That's a good job. <laughs> Whoever who said, it really? said that they hates you, bro. Because <laughs> that's you, so accurate. You really want to know who said that? Yeah, I want to know that. Go and make a bone. Said that. Go and make a bone. <laughs> make make a bone said Shout that. out to make a bone. He don't like you, bro. Because that's true. Like when oh, niggas hit you with some true shit, yeah. that's like fucked up. 
I remember it's that. It's like, ooh, that, you thought about that. Yeah, like that took That's time. That's hateful. I love that That took shit. time. I was like, because I, I thought it was a compliment at first. You thought right? about it. <laughs> yeah, look, nigga, it looked like he was running the 40. I was happy. Like, damn, I look good. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> didn't, really realize, didn't realize what was going on. But. The motherfucker looked like he was running a 4 4 40. <laughs> but... Yeah, no, we out here doing some shit now, but... Yo, hey, tell me about your week. What you been doing? What you been doing? Yo, I had a good week. This is the first day I'm not high. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to He's Wax. He's not lying. He's not lying. Shout out to my <laughs> man Wax. You see, there's a reason why I got the Who's Wax. We got the flour and the lemonade. I had to promote his shit. What did he hook you up with exactly? Bro, he gave... First off, Wax was like, yo, come kick it with me. Boom, pull up. Mm -hmm. I, pull, I pulled up. <laughs> Real, I'm a real one, so that's what you supposed to do. You supposed to pull like, up. This is like twelve o'clock on like what was it a Wednesday? <laughs> Some shit. <laughs> Damn, yeah, might have been Wednesday, bro. Middle of the day. <laughs> it feel like yesterday, but whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody else Every, is at work. Everybody out here, do bro. So. <laughs> me and Wax, he's like pull up, boom, pulled up on him. He was like, yo, he gave me the lemonade first, right? Yeah, I was like, all right, you know who's Wax lemonade, blah blah blah. He was like. Are oh, you really drinking a lemonade? I'm like, yeah, nigga, I'm thirsty. Like, he goes, nah, you know, it's the THC in it. Oh, man, shit. I'm good, money. Give me the, let me drink this lemonade, man. All right. Drink the lemonade. He start laughing. Because the whole time I'm just touching my face like, damn, I don't need no dermatologist. My shit's so. Nigga, so high, I forgot what skin felt like. But I wasn't really, <laughs> I wasn't really high off the juice yet. Then we start smoking the bro. Then you was fucked up? I didn't know, but the thing is, I didn't know I was that fucked up. He <laughs> said, he told me, he goes, yo. Cause you know, when you chilling with people, niggas give you their sales pitch, and it's usually different from what the real product is. Right. They, they overhype it. Everything Wax said was official. <laughs> he said it's gonna feel like he said it's not gonna fuck you up like that. This is chilling. You're gonna chill. We're gonna chill. We're gonna kick me have a good time. Well, he was right. <laughs> he was chilling. We was chilling. He said, it's going to feel like your grandma is giving you a hug. It felt like my <laughs> grandmother was giving me a hug. Yo. It felt like my grandma was giving me a hug, but she was a teddy bear. <laughs> like, that's like, oh, my God, you warm. You got the terry claw. And I just was sitting there like this, bro. <laughs> and th what, what people don't know, this was like at 12 o'clock. I called you at 7. I was still there <laughs> doing the same He's still chilling shit. on the couch. <laughs> he still ain't moved. In fact, when you <laughs> called me, I was like, I probably should leave. Like, Because at that <laughs> point, he had every right to start charging me rent because I had been there so long. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> but shout out to my man Wax, yo. Get that who's Wax. He got the flower and... He got the lemonade, man. Yo, it's not It's not going to mess you up. You're not going to be not, not, not too crazy. You sounded good, man. You sounded like you're going to be chilling. Yeah. Heard you got a lot of sleep, too. It was another thing. Oh, I, that's the best sleep I had all 2021. Damn. Wow. Fucking with Wax. Shout out to, shout out to Wax. <laughs> that shit was funny, yo. Hit him up, man. Who's Wax? <laughs> we hit the group chat. This nigga was a good, This nigga was asleep at a regular time. I didn't, yeah, know, yeah, I was asleep I didn't know what's going yeah, on. I was asleep 10 o'clock. <laughs> like everybody else. <laughs> like <laughs> niggas who got some shit. He said like everybody else. Yeah. But. Fuck that. But yo, let's, let's jump go. into it now. I'm you ready. and me, you and me here today, right? right respect. I'm a comedian. You a comedian? Uh, you know? All day. We got and and let's be real. We're back on stage over here now. You know, we back on stage. I'm about to leave this shit and go get on stage. There you go. Here. You already know. Let me hit you with some questions though. I got a couple questions for you. You so, know, so, you a comedian longer in the game than me. Let me ask you something. What's a joke that someone probably roasted you about that stung that you can't forget? I want to ask you that. So, all right, go ahead. It wasn't necessarily a joke someone said to me it was a joke i was telling i rem i like uh when i like i like like i brought up the time where i got booed at the garden yes see the joke that got a nigga booed at the garden when i was opening for new edition was i was like where all the big women at da, 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 da. and then i go into a joke right i forget who said this shit but he was like yo you can't joke on big women if you big too <laughs> boop Never told that okay. shit again. I don't even remember the joke. Oh, so it's like it didn't really backfire on you, but somebody kind of gave you some insight into it. Yeah. Oh, I was <laughs> like, where you think? It's like, <laughs> yeah, that gave shit, you an education. This shit comes <laughs> off as mean, and then it's like, who the fuck he talking about? I was like, yeah, they right. 
I asked I, I asked that because you I bring this up with you all the time. Right. The moment where I where I thought my shit was fire. That and, shit that nigga <laughs> say you look like you came from the combine. That's like you look like a tight end with that fucking. That didn't even sting though, because I didn't even I didn't even know what he was talking about. That shit didn't even sting. You don't know what a combine. <laughs> I know what it is now, but uh, that was that night. That's you. Know, you get a burn. You got to go home. You got to research the burn, so you know what. So you know what they actually trying to say to you. Right. That's what that was. I had to go research the burn. I'm like, oh, oh, this has nothing to do with being a comedian. Not so, at all. So that's what I learned. But I'd be thinking about because I think of it in retrospect, like the mm -hmm. night when you first saw me perform. Now I've talked about it on this podcast before. Granted, we have more listeners now, but it's one of those things where. He comes to see me perform. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm the shit at the time. Oh, I, I'm the nigga that says you the nigga that shit. did this to me. So I want to know the nigga that did it to you. That was the thing. <laughs> I think it was Two Ray who, because he was there when I when I got booed at the garden. He was the only comedian there. So he was like, we didn't speak about it that day. It was like a couple of days later. He's like, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't hit you in the moment with it. No, no, no. He didn't, he didn't talk to you about it right after? Because you like to do that, too. Because nigga have a rough set. Well, you, you, yeah, you he's you he's, he's nicer than I am. I feel we got to discuss this shit immediately so it doesn't go any further. Oh, my God. So, yeah, that's what we 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 at Scranton. This is Scranton three, four months ago, right? Uh, I don't do the best on stage. I said some <laughs> fucked up shit You recently? don't even remember. Oh, because you know why? Because you... You wasn't high that night, but you took the melatonin, right? Yeah, I you, was ready to go. You to took sleep. the melatonin. I had a great set. You <laughs> it's fucking sold out show. What the fuck you think? I'm going you to had a great set. I had an okay set. You got off stage early. You said I ran out of gas. That's correct. That's yeah, what, that's you what went you up said. there. This, this is what you did. The bitch was like, "I'm gonna give you some pussy quote." You was like, "I." <laughs> oh, she's like, "Nigga, you just fucked me for four seconds." That's but it was the best four seconds. <laughs> but she was trying to blaze all night. Great four seconds. But 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 I gave him what I had, right? But see, that's the thing with comedy. Bro, relax. Looking back, I should have. But the point is, I didn't, right? Uh -huh. It was 20 minutes I was going to do. And I think I got to like minute number nine. And then something in my brain was just like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga. Like, what, what happened? <laughs> motherfucker got to nine minutes and was like... Yeah. Oh, now mind you, those nine minutes was amazing. But then afterwards, I <laughs> got to nine minutes and want to tell the crowd how amazing the show is. <laughs> they know. What they was some the shit show. I, what was some shit I said? This is a good show, man. <laughs> <laughs> So Shout out to about, Kev for putting this yeah, together. So I was talking about the other niggas. Yeah. yeah. Yo, Motherfucker want to make announcements and shit. Here's the worst part about opening for Welly, right? The worst part is if you don't, there's two bad things about it. Okay. One, if you don't have a good set, he's going to tell you We're as gonna, soon as you get off stage. We have to discuss that. I couldn't even, there was, as soon because here's what it was. As soon as I got off stage, there were quesadillas at the very back. There was a table of quesadillas, right? And so as soon as I get off, I, I didn't do great. I did okay. Like the nine minutes were good. Now you but, did good you just ran out of gas right but if you run out of gas you're still not getting to where you need to go so respectfully i didn't do great so i, I get i got off stage and i'm just looking at the quesadilla i said you know chicken cheese and some salsa and, and i pulled the, this ayo, nigga. Ayo, my <laughs> the quesadillas for this, niggas who do their whole time yeah, that's what he stage. says that's what he's that's what he's gonna say he's like yo the, the food that's for niggas who do their job you didn't yeah. do your job now I got to sit there and you, you got to take that. That's part of the job. You got to take that. Because it's like if you have a nine to five, right? Mm -hmm. And you say you get the what, four or five hours. You're like, fuck this. I'm out. What's going to happen to you? <laughs> that's your last day. Exactly. That's you it. already know. So I, that, that's just how it goes. with comedy. You Let me ask you. Now, that's me, my experience. Have you been through? Now, yeah, you've been booted at the garden yet. But maybe, maybe a show where you did good. You did good. No one's saying you didn't do good. But maybe you didn't get the job done. There's two different things. I don't even understand what you're saying. For instance, it's like, all right, you had a good set. You could have done better. And some and people re and you know you could have done better. Maybe a mentor you had or somebody was like, did, did something? Did they pull you aside? So you said two Ray didn't do it in the moment. He waited, right? Did you? So when you would have those conversations with him, what would they be like? Would it be similar to what you and me would go through, or would it be something a little bit different? All right. Ask the question. Don't set it up. Because he sets up the setup to set up. I set up the setup to the question. Ask the question. Just ask. Nigga, it sucks. What were those conversations with 2Ray like? Oh, well, a lot of that shit was the same conversation he used to have with Kevin Hart. Like, him smoking hella weed. Like, shut up, nigga. You don't know shit. If you shut up, you might learn something, motherfucker. You used to feel like shit in those moments? Nah. Because, see... No, it's not like I was out here bombing in these streets. No, I was doing good. And then he and then because I'm the guy 
I don't ask questions when I do bad on stage. I ask questions when I do well too. Like I want to know, like you understand what I'm saying? Like I right. want to know how I could always, always want to get better. So to Ray be like, nah, nigga, you good. All you need to do is this, 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 and this. Like boom, all you need to really do is move around on stage. You good? Blah 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 blah. So it would be shit like that. It was always just some small changes you needed to make. Nothing ever. Yeah, because like, with comedy, most of the shit is confidence, and then the other part is writing. Mm-hmm. You done wrote the jokes before you got to the show. That's true. You see what I'm saying? So it's like most of the work happens off stage. It's a little bit of that hand in hand. I see what you're saying. But yeah. That being said, so you talked about, you know, when it comes to refining your your, your craft, right? Uh-huh. But I'm a big believer in that. I'm a big believer in, yeah, it's your craft, but it's like part of this is natural for you. A lot of this, I feel like, is natural for you, right? right. Uh-huh. And when it comes to... <laughs> I, I mean, only know how to do what I know how to do. This, that's what I'm saying. This comedy is so. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, do you really feel like you're just kind of honing your own when you're on that stage, right? How much of it is refined and how much of it is natural? People, and I ask for a reason. How much of it is what? Refined, like crafted, and how much of it is natural? Oh, this motherfucker got a degree. You heard I got it. Yo, I, I got it. You know, I got good questions for you. Now, it's <laughs> because, and let me, let me explain why I asked this question. There's a reason why. Because it's like, you and me, have, we've seen comedians, but not just comedians. You know, you've seen people in your day-to-day life, you know? Right. Maybe people, shit, maybe people who work at Boston Market who don't want to be at Boston Market. Or people who work at Boston Market. And That's just, malicious because we just left Boston right, Market. Right, and I respect. really wish I got that half rotisserie chicken. I didn't get it. But, <laughs> I, I should have got it, but I didn't because get it. Because that chick was acting like she didn't want to be at Boston Market. That's why you said that. I got, she, she, she was scary. Wasn't she, she was kind of scary. I, women don't scare me. I understand. Oh, that. she didn't scare you? No. When you asked for the sauce and she said it's in the bag, that didn't nigga, scare you? I mean. <laughs> Terrified. That terrified the fuck out of me. I asked the four folks. She was like, it's in the bag. I was like, all right, well, you enjoy your day. That's too. not what she said. I understand what bitches are <laughs> not trying to hand me. I understand that. We was halfway through the drive through This motherfucker, he goes, oh, she not fucking with me. Yeah, she going, was fucking with me. We, so why would I proceed? Go. Like, all right, cool. Everybody's not always down to joke and play around, bro. And that was case in point. Bitch was not trying that to hear never stopped you before, nigga. What the fuck? She was she put a little fear in my heart. A little bit. I ain't scared. You know what I mean? I talk my shit later. There are times, man. I just ain't been trying to like. I, I'll call you when I leave work. Sometimes and you just be like, "Oh, they got them. They get to you. <laughs> they get to you." But sometimes. go ahead. What was your question about the refined and all of that other shit? When you on when you're on stage, obviously there are things you need to keep in mind. But it's like, do you strike a balance of like, all right, I got to do this, 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 and then the rest of it is natural, or is it just all natural up there? When it comes to you, obviously you write well, your jokes. Anybody tell you it's just all natural, they lying to you. Mm-hmm. You are putting on the show, so yeah, it's who I am, but put it on steroids. Mm-hmm. It's it's a show. It's not a convers. It's not sitting in the car having a conversation. It's not that because right. I wouldn't have a microphone in my hand. I wouldn't be hundreds of people. Mm. So it, it, at a certain point, it's who you are. Be who you are, but put that shit on steroids too because you are supposed to be putting on the show. Right. You got to know when to embellish certain things. I see what you're saying. That's all that is. Nigga said embellish. See, so saying I ain't the Nigga, I went to school too. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you was there. You're the only one. You know what I mean? And you could go to school and not learn. Motherfuckers do that I all the time. I did that my whole life. <laughs> he said I did that my whole I life. I know words. I don't know a lot. I just know words, bro. I'm a writer. Like, I know words. Like, you big on words. No, that's that's true. And you yeah. are a writer. No, you out here working. You doing your thing, but... See, the reason why I ask is just that because a lot of people go through their lives, right? They know they're naturally good at something, right? Mm-hmm. But they never decide to go after it. They, there okay. are people out here who live like that, right? Right, right. And uh, unfortunately, I see a lot of these people on the day today. You ever have somebody come up to you? They're just like, I don't know how it is that you have so much confidence in yourself to believe in what you're doing. and You're actually doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like people, I've seen people do that to you, right? Okay. People, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he looking at me like he never seen. It. I've seen it, right? Yeah. I've seen you get mobbed in traffic after a show. I've seen that. Have you seen dangerous it? shit? I've seen it. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, so much respect is given to people who are just being themselves and being who they want to be, where society's telling them something else. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I guess when it comes down to it, my question for you now is, in your early stages, what gave you the confidence to be like, you know what? Fuck that. This is what I know I should be doing. I'm going to keep it. This is who I am. This is what I'm going to do. The truth of the matter is I had jobs before. Mm Mm-hmm. I know what that Monday morning 9 a.m. feel like. So it's, it's hell. like, it's hell. then you learn the elements of comedy and the elements of acting and the elements of show business, period. They all start with believing in yourself. So it's like, fuck, all right, cool. I never want this Monday morning 9 a.m. feel. 
And then you get to work at 903 and everybody's looking at you like, yeah, like you done fucked you up. Know, you know, y- y'all motherfucker gonna relax a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's 903. <laughs> relax. I don't give a fuck if it's 917. Y'all gonna relax. Um, but I've had jobs and but, I know that that shit is a, that shit is a possibility. Yeah, but it's more than that though. Every day it? I get on stage, I know going a, jo- a nine to five is a possibility. So I got to go in. That's the thing. People I ain't funny. Man. I don't eat. Oh, see, there you go. <laughs> <That's what it laughs> there you go. There you go. That's that, what it is. That'll get the bills paid. That'll get the bills paid. That's what it is. I like, and, and I don't eat cheap shit. <laughs> no, they be fucking with that I McDonald's fucking, sometimes. I fucking eat smo- I drink smoothies and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ordering two Big Macs sometimes too, but. Malicious. Yeah, yeah, it sometimes. is malicious. Yeah, yo, we out yeah, here. Nigga going personal. Health is wealth. We, you know what we always say. Going that personal well. shit now. Yo, this is all I'm saying. Health Got nothing is- to do with the podcast. <laughs> health you want to bring up oh some shit God. a nigga may or may not have ordered the other all night. All I'm saying is if I you were to drive through. I ain't need a disclaimer. I was fucking with wax. I'm off the <laughs> lemonade and the weed, bro. I nigga want to call me. I'm in the drive through. They go like, oh, you got bad service. No, nigga, I <laughs> nigga muted, muted you me while you was in the drive through. I muted you, ordered my <laughs> shit, threw you back off mute. That's <laughs> that. Thinking I would have noticed. Because nigga want to give me a fucking lecture. I know I shouldn't have ordered that shit, but I was good. That's what good. He's the man who will guard the case of deals when I don't do well. But because you ain't, you ain't deserve nothing to eat that show. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you ain't deserve nothing. <laughs> Kept me up till th- this nigga took melatonin right and until three fought, o'clock. I took the melatonin, <laughs> fought my sleep just, just to <laughs> tell him what he did wrong. I could have just not. He took don't it. just tell you what you do wrong. He gonna say it. Then he gonna say it again. Then he gonna. Say it a third way that you wasn't thinking. He and was I asked other it. niggas to per- confirm <laughs> what I said. They go ask other niggas to confirm the shit, and it's just like, and they all in your room, so you they in your hotel room, so you can't even go to sleep because you got to kick niggas out. But what I, I say that to say this, so pr- <laughs> so pride is important. You think so? That's the question. Man, what Kanye said it best. You better rap like you got some fucking respect for yourself. <laughs> That's how I get, I, bro, I'm listening to this shit on the way to shows. Yeah. So I'm never getting on stage bullshit. I'm up there, bro, you could you could feed your family with this shit. Like the whole family, like the cousins you don't really fuck with, you could, them niggas can eat too. <laughs> well, hopefully there is if you're doing it, but where do you draw the line when it comes to pride? Do you, feel, do you well, a better question, rewind. Do you feel like you have to draw a line when it comes to pride? Being I don't even t- understand that. Like, I'm me, bro. I don't. Ain't no line. Like, uh, well, I'm you tell me. me this all the time. Some people walk around thinking you, co- thinking you cocky, walking around like, oh, he's cocky, whatever. Me, I just think of, I just think you take believing in yourself to an extreme. But this is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, well, I mean, ex- <laughs> this nigga believes in himself for everything, no matter what's going on. Oh. <laughs> but it's, it's the truth. But, it's the tr- but that's a good thing. My mom taught me that when I was six. Believe in yourself. Hulk Hogan said, believe in yourself. Take your vitamins, my brother. Every- I listen to them niggas. <laughs> what, I'm wrong now? All of a sudden, I'm for wrong. Doing it, it's just that nobody really does it, is what I'm saying. I'm That's so, sorry to hear that shit. That's the people who be upset. They be like, ah, he's cocky. Ah, I guess, whatever. I know, I know what I do. Mm-hmm. And I just say what I do, and then I do it, and then they be like, oh, he's a dick. And I'd be like, fuck it, maybe. I don't know. You see, but that's that shit. Saying what you're doing, doing it. Nobody nobody out here doing that. Nobody out here. You woke up today and said, yo, I'm going to go grab me a leather real quick. You did it. Boom. Yeah, that's not being a dickhead. It's not being a dickhead. I do, you know, gotta look like money out here. It is. Well, I ain't mad at you. Talk heavy. You know what I mean? I mean? But a lot of niggas out here bullshitting too. I'm a bullshit nigga, so I would know. I, I know. I know when niggas bullshit. Right. You know I'm saying it's the truth. <laughs> it's like I told you, yo, bullshit runs in my family. It's the, that's that's fact. That's fact. Uh, this motherfucker goes to ban from the cookout. <laughs> talking shit on episode thirty-seven. <laughs> Fourth of July is coming. You keep talking heavy. No, hey, it, it, <laughs> bullshit runs in the family. Cole got the whole couch to himself this week. This is good shit. Thing, I like this actually. I'm mad spacious. We should do this more often. I like this. Oh, all right. you want to fire the other two? <laughs> no, I ain't say that. I ain't say that. I ain't say that. All I said is maybe I should get my own. Which couch. is interesting. All right, couch. boom. Now I got some shit. <laughs> boom. Go, go. Let's call it what it is. Go ahead. Lex is not here this week. Okay. She's a little under the weather. Or actually, she feels fine. Her friend tested positive for the for the for the, womp, for the womp, womp, right? Yeah. So you know she was like, it's, it, "I think it's best I set out this episode." Okay. 
<laughs> you <laughs> feeling comfortable on the couch talking yeah. about, oh, we should do this more often. Yeah, I don't know. It's actually pretty dope. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> no, shit. not like that. We shouldn't do that more often. What I'm saying is, oh, shit. maybe we should just go to Pier 1 and get another couch is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's all I'm <laughs> saying. Say maybe there's more couch. shit. That more shit, ain't nothing wrong with that, but. I feel you, man. Here's what I, one thing I like when I talk to you, okay? And this is real, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep it real. So, this, earlier I was talking about, you know, me being featured in the New York Times and all that, which is, you know, it's cool. There's nothing wrong with that, but. Stay focused. Core just brought that shit up for no reason. I'm gonna talk my <laughs> shit, okay? I'm, just, I'm gonna talk my shit. Pick up a paper today, I'm in it. But Ooh. the reason why, the reason why I talk about it is because a couple years ago, I wasn't doing this. I All mean, right. I was doing this, but I wasn't doing this, right? Uh -huh. I'm, there's a lot of, not necessarily my comedy, but a lot of my work ethic is really kind of influenced from you. All right. And let I me mean, just kind of segue real quick. Y'all need somebody like that in your life. Your circle, if your circle isn't pushing you to be better, no matter what it is they say, no matter how they act, if they're not pushing you to be better, you got to find better. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I was lucky when I'm, and I'll, I'll call it what it is. I was lucky when I found him that A, that he gave a fuck because nobody else did. But B, that he was, he he saw potential, at least in me, and he was willing to at least push me to achieve that. that, that, uh, that All right. Potential. Let's be respect. I, honestly, I had a, my work cut out to be <laughs> his thing say because this, this nigga, motherfucker needed all out. This nigga used to talk all the shit it was when like, I first met him. It was, it's like when you get 2K <laughs> and then you got, you got to make the my player, but you ain't got no VC points. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, God damn, this nigga just got the sweatpants on and the 2K sneakers. <laughs> I can't have my governor on the 2K Nothing. joints. Nah, we got to get him something. Mm -mm. This is going to take, I'm going to have to win MVP <laughs> just to make this nigga look like something off the court. So there's a lot that I had to do, but he did I don't know. Do a lot. The, the reason I started fucking with you was because I seen everybody at the club ignore you and I thought that was fucked yes. up. That's because correct. I'm like, fuck all this comedy shit. This person, he's a person first. He said, how to everybody? Nobody even acknowledged him. Yep. And everybody was talking to me. So I was like, damn, am I the reason nobody fucking with this nigga? <laughs> so I'm like, I'm going to fuck with him and force everybody else to fuck with him. And that didn't happen for a little while. Yeah, no, nah, <laughs> that was that, 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 that plan didn't work. So <laughs> that, that didn't work. So I just, I don't know. But I say that. I just like people who enjoy what they do and do it the right way. Definitely wasn't regardless of whatever it is you do. If you do taxes and you enjoy doing taxes and you don't cut corners and you do it the right way, I respect you. Because with every every profession, there's a there, there there's some there's shortcuts and bullshit you could go about it. That's the thing. It's I'm not saying you was I thought you was bullshit when I met you, but I didn't think you had best intentions. Sometimes it could be scary. What you thought I was trying to do? You thought I was trying to fuck? What this, you mean? This, this motherfucker, this best motherfucker, bring me. What you fuck? Nah, all right, all right. Now they don't know the story. Now they what don't you know mean? the story. What was the story? The story was my car was in Jersey because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Right, we was in New York City. We was at we was at New York Comedy Club. Right, he drove and right to the edge of Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I was a dumb motherfucker to the, the edge of Jersey and it's like I'm gonna take the. Truth. Rain over there, like nigga, yeah. you fucking car, you <laughs> yeah. finished driving. What the fuck? I'll, it's cold out. I'll never forget. Yeah, it was like it was like ten degrees. I'm in a coat. I would have to wait like a half hour for that train that to get there. Silly to me. Yeah, and then he was like, "I'll drive you to your car." And I didn't know this guy. Stranger danger. I don't know this motherfucker, bro. I Stop. don't. I didn't want any ass. I, I, I assure you. <laughs> I don't know I don't you. Want All this. I know is uh, this is some weird motherfuckers out here. So I said, "Uh oh." I like right? big booty hoes. Fuck with it. At one point, I'm trying to run away from you. He on some other shit. He on some other shit. You hear me? At one point, he's just like, look, he said, I'm going to leave in five minutes. I'll drive you back to your car. I said, thank you. I'm good. He goes, I'm driving you back to your car. I'm like, all right. Because I figured to... after a long night of being ignored, you would at least need a ride. Oh, yeah. Yo, <laughs> when you're getting ignored, your legs your legs tense up. Like, yo, you, you don't got that. I'm going to swipe that metro. Go, Beep. <laughs> <And that's, laughs> ignore them all day. That shit don't work. It, it happened, right? Bro, this nigga Quo had no mustache, none of that Nothing. shit. He had the bullshit Caesar that's like everything on his head, <laughs> one same size. Pretty much, it's the same cut I that Barbers. It's the same cut that Barbers give three year olds. Yeah. Like, yeah, we just make everything the same size. Yeah. I, I was number four on that little chart that they got. Yeah, yeah but a fucked up version because my hairline was. I said straight. to him, first thing I said to him was, "You don't get no bitches." <laughs> yeah. Yo, and this, <laughs> tell him I agree. This <laughs> what I love about this nigga. You know, what he said, "Nigga said." You're right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Bro, it In crushed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in, like, how you get no pictures? In that moment, and I just. And then he, <laughs> he admitted it. You posted a lie. 
Fuck that. Nah. Bro. What do I get from lying to him? I'm in his car. I'm in the front that seat. That goes it? back to that pride. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? Lie? I'm just like, yes! you know I said, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I said, I'm tired. My car is who knows where, right? He actually drove past my car twice is what he did. I was, he, and, I was making a point. And he said, I know, I know your car over there. I'm making a point is what he said. <laughs> I was like, I just met this guy. I don't know nothing about him, but. But that was why I give First off, that's bullshit. My picture's <laughs> on the wall at the comedy club. He's like, he don't know nothing about me. Fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah his picture was on the wall. Fuck out of here. <laughs> that's true. The picture was on the wall. Just got off stage. Everybody's saying, hey, man, you were the funniest one. Like, all right. Oh, you got off stage? I didn't, see, but I was, I, I didn't know because everybody out here not talking to a brother. So I didn't know who was on there. Some people act different when the cameras is on. <laughs> <laughs> See, we got the slide and we got the, the slide and rig today. And they go, I didn't know you was on stage. Do you ever know me to just hang out at comedy clubs? No, I'm on stage. That's true. It's, oh, you see, actually, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's but good. go ahead. Who are you talking about? Shit? But I say that to say, honest to God, you got to have people in your corner who are willing to do that. So, well, anybody, so when you was learning your way, trying to figure it out, right? You know right. my question. I don't know your question. Who was in your corner doing that for you, pushing you up to the, trying to, trying to bring, push you to the top the same way you put pressure on me? When I first started out, yeah, or just in general, it doesn't even have to be at the beginning. But if at some well, point, well, at along each the point journey. of my career, people have done that, and I think it's important to keep people in your corner who do that. When I literally first started out, Two Ray, same dude who started Kevin Hart, mm -hmm. was was showing me the ropes. But whoa, 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 boom. Then after that, I don't want to say after that because we still cool. He still helps me out. Whatever, mm -hmm. Tracy Morgan. He was like, "Yo, come on the road." Boom, boom, boom. Now he's giving me tips. Boom, 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 boom. Up until recently, Tiffany Haddish. Yo, this is what we doing. Bye, bye, bye. We having fun up here. I honestly just want to see everybody win. I'm from the hood. Mm. Everybody there don't want to see everybody win. Nice. In fact, they praying on your downfall. I, 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 praying on your downfall for real? Yeah, it's, it's Biggie. He said, yeah. pray and pray and pray on my downfall. Oh, it's some Biggie oh, shit. Biggie. But right. that's the hood mentality. But I never really had that mentality so I want to see everybody win. If I get a Pepsi commercial, yeah. that doesn't mean you lost. Because you could get Coca-Cola. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Lex could get a Red Bull commercial. Mm -hmm. Shadon could get a fucking Fiji water commercial. We're all millionaires. That's very possible. None of us compete. Ain't nobody out here with that mentality. I, that's the mentality that Yes, have. they are. The niggas who are getting those commercials have that mentality. Yes. <laughs> oh, word. That's why they eat it. But at the bottom, it's crowded. So everybody's like, ah, he got Pepsi. Look at that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's why his skin breaking out. So what? They put makeup on me on TV, bitch. It's like that. You know what I mean? It's That's just what it is. So there's never like a need that. to hate yeah. on somebody else. You just got to get on your grizzly. That's all that means. I like that. They all hit like, like people was, was like, oh, it's a pandemic. Nothing's jumping. Yes, it is. People are getting on TV during the pandemic. Voila. People are writing movies during the pandemic. Right. Voila. Like people are doing shit. It's just the pandemic is the perfect excuse for you. And it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. It's gonna be actually. I read something the other day. It's gonna be a pandemic till 2023. Yeah, this shit gonna be around for a while. <laughs> you say the Stimmies is coming back though, right? Yeah, they give them two thirds. Yeah, two grand. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I gotta call Biden because I never got no stimulus check. I gotta call him, yo. yo holla at me, Joe. You can dead ass call the White holla House. Holla at me. <laughs> you can call me. Kamala. <laughs> holla at me. Text me. Why no. did he say text me? <laughs> Motherfuckers said nah, because you know I, I know you don't like talking on the phone like that, Kamala. Just text me. You know, I'm right in. He I'm said, in just text me. Nah, what? No, nah, my thing with that is especially because when it come down to it, man, I mean, well, yeah, we're getting the, we getting the stimmies back. That's number one. But but uh -huh. when it come down to it, there are a lot of people who, who let fear kind of control control what they about to do, right? But you fear just, is, not, is not real. It's in the mind. You're right. It's real, but it's not real. On the other side of fear is greatness. So whatever you fear, like, oh, my God, I can't do that, which is something you definitely can do. It's always something you easily could do. Okay, so now time out, time out, stop, stop. On the other side of that, yeah. once you do it, fra. That shit sound good. Forty virgins. That shit. <laughs> hey, this nigga dumb. <laughs> forty <laughs> virgins. <You> stupid. <laughs> Everybody want forty virgins. That's I don't. Oh, you don't? I want forty hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches is disgusting. You, you, <laughs> you want hoes over virgins? No, nah, I don't want any. Of that. I go to church now. I don't gave myself to God. I don't want any. Of that. But you <laughs> get to my vibe. God. But you don't think. I, I I talk to a lot of people who let fear control the narrative. That's right. what I say, right? 
where it's let me hear you, somebody who's never had that problem. What would you tell I somebody? I have had that problem. I just rec- okay, okay, do tell. I recognize what it is and don't go near that. You just had like a you had like an out of body thing where it's like you saw what it was that was like kind of holding you back. Well, I feel like comedy is the hardest thing in the world to do. Like mm-hmm. you get on stage and make a bunch of strangers laugh every night in exchange for money. That's hard as fuck. I agree, but <laughs> just because you just because I think this shit funny does not mean these people think this shit is funny. Right. So with that being said, it's different. Like I done did the hardest thing known to men in mm. my head. And that's all that matters is in my head. So it's like yeah. I, I literally, you know, it's it's what they tell you as a kid. You could do whatever you want. Just put your mind to it. Yeah, but they tell you that as a kid, then they stop. Yeah, <laughs> like third grade, fourth about grade, they, yeah. they stop telling. They you cut that. that shit. They're like, yeah, no yeah, more. They're anymore. like, hey, listen, garbage men make sixty thousand a year. <laughs> like, bitch, what? <laughs> yeah, I got it. So well, I must make bread too. That's yeah, they do too, but they got to deal with a lot of bullshit. Literally, yeah. But, so go ahead. I'm, but not nah, that's what would you tell somebody? Is what I'm asking. So you're, I don't want to call it advice because people be getting advice and not taking it. But if you was like, say, talking to somebody right now where it's like they listening in, but it's like, you know, they, they maybe it doesn't have to be comedy. They have an idea. They want to go forward with it. But it's like they fear it's kind of holding them back. It's like, what if I do this shit and it don't work? You know what I'm saying? Well, that's going to be part of it. Like you going to read so shit going to happen. It's going to be obstacles. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. the only thing you could do is do that shit. And if you figure that shit out as you go, start. The hardest thing to do is start start with anything. And what's that shit you like to say about waiting for the right time? Ain't no... Nah. Nah, 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 say it, say it. Nah, say it. Ain't no right time. Just <laughs> do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, motherfuckers be waiting like it's double dutch and shit. Nah, just still go fuck ahead. with double dutch. But you, you, you wait, go ahead. <laughs> I still <laughs> fuck with that. I still People fuck love with that. double dutch. Yeah, my sister, I got like, my sister. Like, there's no perfect it. time. Just do it, man. Ain't no waiting like nah because people put that in their head like no i can't i gotta wait till till what i i gotta wait till you now you're 40 you should you should put that mixtape out when you was 19 we ain't trying to hear that shit we no ain't more. trying to hear your mixtape when, no, you, when you grow fuck up that. and you got gray dreads mm. Mm. you nigga, can't cause you can't be a new rapper with, with gray dreads <laughs> don't work that way you're finished out here uh, talking about y'all got that heat nigga if you don't get off of my instagram get out my comments <laughs> stop putting fire next to your fucking shit in my comments let me ask you now again as a follow-up respect toxic personality traits around you let me ask you two things on it how have you identified them uh-huh. and then when you once you do identify them how do you deal with them because i feel like you have toxic people around you that's gonna hold you back even if you don't want to acknowledge it you know what i'm saying all right, you got to be more specific. What, what do you mean, toxic? I don't want to say just toxic people, but it's like, it could be habits. It could be things that are just going to hold you back. All right, well. I'm getting where you're trying to go. What I, what I do know is toxic people are inconsistent. What do you mean? Like, people who have a motive, I would say. Mm-hmm. They're very inconsistent. So, if... uh. If it's somebody who, like, all right, cool. It may be a motherfucker who want to get next to you just so they can get your leather connect. Mm, okay. See what I'm saying? So now they're going to, yo, what up, man? When we could chill? We ain't been chilling. We knew each other 13 years. We ain't been We've chilling. We've never chilled a single day in our whole life. Boom. Yo, come to one of them shows. Tickets is online. Boom. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yo. What time you leaving to go to the show? <laughs> like shit like that. They trying Yo, to. I want to come check out your podcast so on YouTube, <laughs> Apple, Spotify. <laughs> rate and review, but yes, right, rate and review. <laughs> so it's like, ah, uh, you up to something? Like you know what I mean? So that's just an example of. But I feel like toxic people they never consistent. Mm. They all over the place. All you gotta do is sit back and watch, watch it unfold. It's a show. Watching unfold. And it'll tell you everything you need to know. And to the, the second part of the question. So that's how you identify it, right? And then from there, it's like, okay, maybe you picked up on something with somebody who's around you, you know? Have you been quick to just make that cut? Or have it just been like, you know? How do you address that? Maybe, I right, say, say if it's like me. Say if it's like me. You, I don't. You see something toxic with me, right? And I'll be around you. I'm in your circle. But it's like, what would you do, you know? 
Well, you, you my man. So I'd be like, yo, get that bullshit out your life, dog. Right. So you just confront them My coach them used on. to say that to us in college. Get that bullshit out your life, dog. <laughs> it's like, bro, you literally <laughs> just made us run for three hours. Yo. And this is basketball <laughs> practice, not track. And I have bullshit in my life. I think you're the one with the bullshit, though. I think though. you're the one with the bullshit, But that's dog. how he used to say. So... Where when I was at junior college, he used to be, get that bullshit out your life, dog. <laughs> I'm like, Coach Carroll, come on with that shit. I think you the bullshit one, bro. <laughs> I never always wanted one. to tell him that. Y'all think you the bullshit one, nigga. So you was out doing sports. That's good. That's, that's, that's how you unlock. But, um, yeah, if we cool like me, you know, I would be like, yo, you know, get that bullshit out your life, dog. <laughs> but other than that, I just separate myself. I'm not going back and forth with niggas. It's not worth it. What they gonna say? You right? <laughs> no, I, I could say you full of shit. I could say you full of shit. They not. They gonna say that, but <laughs> I don't want to have that conversation. I already seen. Some, I already seen a red flag. I don't need to keep pursuing this. Like I see what you're saying. Cool, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. I'm back up. Like Snoop said, I had to back up off of it and sit my cup down. See, you make it sound easy. You make it sound easy. It is because it's, I value my peace of mind. When you start to value your peace of mind, you let any of this shit go. Family, friends, I don't give a fuck. It's very easy to just kind of get complacent with it. Speaking from experience, uh, this has been my go-to move. I got to sleep move. at night. You do got to sleep at night. But sometimes you get used to sleeping at night with all that noise, too. That's another thing that happens as well. I guess. You know? It's not that it's a good thing, but it's, a lot of people get complacent with Yo, it. You got long-ass fingers, then. You got them E.T. fingers, oh, nigga. Go, I, I, I got the go E.T. Like this, go like, hey, got the E.T. phone home. I like to say the Kawhi go Leonard. Go like this, nah, nigga. I say the Kawhi Leonard. This is more like the Kawhi Nah, E.T., bitch. He said he's... He tried to make it cool, right? That. No, it ain't no making it cool. Nah, ain't nobody even watch E.T. This is Kawhi. This the claw. No, 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 it ain't, nigga. Nobody watch E.T., bro. E.T., Nobody watch that ET shit. You know what he was watching and said? Signs. That movie was scary as fuck. That's what niggas was watching. I, I don't even know I, what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, the one with the aliens that came down to Earth with the crop circles? Yeah, you wouldn't know. Hey, nigga don't watch Star up. Wars. You don't, don't even know what's bullshit. going on. This nigga, this Wars nigga, this nigga. <laughs> Meets J.J. Abrams. Meets J.J. Abrams. I know J.J. Yo, shout out J.J. Abrams. Yeah, shout man. out J.J. Abrams. You didn't even know who he was at the time. And I knew J.J. Abrams. I ain't know. <laughs> Deadass, he meets J.J. Abrams, y'all. Real talk. He meets him, right? And he's like, yeah, he talked about that Star Wars shit. I ain't never seen it. I'm like, you ain't never seen a Star yeah, Wars shit. <laughs> he, he writing episode seven. This nigga talking never all seen. that shit. Talking all that shit. Talking that million dollars. I like, okay, with that bullshit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he a cool nigga. Yo, shout out J.J. Abrams. <laughs> yeah, J.J. Abrams is cool. Oh, I never man. watched Star Wars. I just knew he was a director, and I, he had a new project. We were discussing a new project that he was working on at the time, and I ain't give a fuck about that Star Wars yo, shit. I'm not even going to sugarcoat. Like, niggas was talking that. I was just like, all right. But it's not, <laughs> just, it's not just him. It's not just him. Then he would be telling me stories. Yo, the born supremacy, the born ultimatum. Everybody knows what that. Oh shit is. my son! This motherfucker meets Matt Damon. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, who, 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 who's that? Uh, I'm like, <laughs> it was me. It was me. Two Ray, Keith Robinson. We at the Comedy Cellar. Yeah. And uh, Matt Damon was with Tom Papa. Right. So they get up, go downstairs because Tom was performing. But Matt Damon was sitting right here. Toure and them is sitting right here, but Matt was sitting right here. So they get up and go. And, uh, you know, it's a table of us. So they get up and go. And mm -hmm. Toure was like, I need a picture with that nigga. First of all, the only thing that was on my <laughs> mind was I was, I'm a young comedian at the time. I don't know who this guy is. This white guy. I, was like, I don't know. The, the white guy. This is the white guy. Like, yeah. Come on, and man. he's sitting next to me. <laughs> he's sitting right next to me. Cool as hell. Yo, I can't. So, boom, we eating this shit, whatever. I only, bro, it's like 3 a.m. Yeah. I uh, knew I had to go to work tomorrow. That's <laughs> kind of all I knew. There's no excuse. So at this <laughs> point, I'm just calculating how much sleep I'm not getting. <laughs> Are you playing the math game in your mind? That's what you do. So he cut, So Trey goes, I need a picture with him when he come back. I was like, you just take pictures with random motherfuckers now? <laughs> like, that's what you want. You want that type of shit. <laughs> so he goes, no, nigga, that's born supremacy. And I was like, that didn't mean nothing to you. I was like, I thought he was talking about that five percent of shit. Hey yo, five <laughs> percent. God, I lie and shit. I'm done. That's born he supremacy. Said. You know what I mean? So I like, oh, all right, cool. What's the other nigga name? Knowledge or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So the best movie out at the time. <laughs> this is literally, everybody lined up to go watch this. Shit. So yeah, he was hot in the streets at that time too. <laughs> so um, he comes back, and I'm like, because I'm not even thinking. 
like that. Like nobody's bothering him. Nobody. Well, some women did ask him for a few pictures, but whatever. I didn't pay it no mind because we he's right here, whatever. So he come back and I was like, yo. What's your name? <laughs> Goofy motherfucker. And he was like, he was like, Matt. And I was like, yo, let me take a picture with you. But I said it low. So I, nobody heard it? I, I ain't went away. Uh, <laughs> you ain't nobody. In case the shit went left. So I'm like, let me take a picture with you and shit. And this shit gonna look good on the gram. So whatever, I took the picture with him, whatever. He was like, nah, it's all good, man. So Ture was like, I don't know. I'm not still not sure if Ture actually got the picture with him. I think he did though. I think Ture took a picture with him and was like, boom. He don't know who and then two <laughs> threw me under the bus. He don't know who you he are. <laughs> I had to tell him, Born Supremacy, that's Jason Bourne. And I'm like, nah, I thought you said that's Jason. Word is born. <laughs> yeah, this motherfucker d- did yeah. not know you said that's Jason born. I it's 3 a.m., bro. <laughs> I got away with it. I, I got away with it. I, uh, word, I thought you said, I thought you was on that 5% of shit. I got these yeah. niggas at the whole table laughing. Boom, 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 boom. And Keith Robinson just looked at me and said, he was a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> How he be talking? Just yeah. young and dumb. I was like, I, right, I'll be that. But Matt thinks I'm funny first and foremost. <laughs> Yo, I got questions with quote for this Boom. week. Boom, questions even though, with even quote. It's just the two of us. Let's go. <laughs> questions with quote. That's where the fans get to ask us questions. Quote, read them because he got a degree. Yes. And we answer it on the <laughs> show. So Let's go. Wellies World Podcast. I got four questions for us this week. Let's first go. one coming in from Gabby. One thing you wish you would have known when you started your career, boom, let me hear it. Then I'm going to answer. One thing I wish I would have known when I started my career, um, that's a really good question. One thing I wish I, none of that shit, none of the things you think that are going to happen before you start are ever going to happen. Like, Oh, that's deep. We like talk us, ourselves out of so much shit and it's never going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like when you think of it like, um, hey, what if they throw tomatoes? That's still a stupid shit. Yo, it comes to shows with tomatoes. People really be thinking that shit. Yeah, you talk because that fear is just you get foolish. Like a lot of the things you think you are gonna happen are never gonna happen. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah. Huh. That's interesting. But yeah, what, what about you? For me, it's one of those things where it's like, if I could, like, I think of it like this: if I could tell myself, like that night I was in the parking lot in front of a comedy club in my town, right about to really start this. Well, if I could tell me one thing, it's there's gonna be a lot of bullshit, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be. But that's for anything. Yeah, but it's like this bullshit is gonna be on some other level. Like they're gonna be nights that you gotta have to lie to yourself, <laughs> saying that you did some shit when you ain't really do nothing. You know. All right, but I don't know if I would want to tell myself that because if I told myself that, I probably wouldn't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? So perspective. But it was a good question though. Honestly, that was a good Gabby. question. Was Shout good. out to Gabby. This next one coming in from Quigley. It's um. <laughs> this nigga asks a question every week. He do, but he got he be asking. I dope fucks questions. with him. He be here every week. Uh, shout out to him, man. Shout out to Quigs. I like this. Shout out to you, Quigs. I call him Quigs for short. I don't even know. You don't even know the nigga like that. He stay giving niggas nicknames. That's my <laughs> That's thing. What he do. They got a nickname for me every week. I right. used to call him Z he's, for no reason. He's, six weeks straight. Call, but he's no Z in any name that call, he's associated call with. Call my name. Yo, Z. I don't even know what the fuck that is. But why did you answer was the real question. Because at this point, you was because I was a fucked up nigga at the time. I also had no hair on my face. <laughs> so you know what? I'm, I'm going to take whatever nigga, I can so get. I'm going to be whatever you want. The nigga, nigga yeah, called me. Yeah, I told that. I could be Z, L, M. I don't <laughs> yeah. give a fuck. All right. From Quigley. Chivalry, in a, chivalry, is it a dying art or something that's just maybe changing with the times? And how do we go about it? I think chivalry is a dying art because I think it all starts with the music. Oh, yeah? Bro, when I was coming up, you were not getting any females if you didn't know at least four R&B songs and mm-hmm. you sung them to her. Now, mm-hmm. you could just be like, you could turn on a little baby and be like... <laughs> Oh. Throw baby. <laughs> oh, you can turn. <laughs> throw baby. <laughs> and then she know the vibes. It's different. I disagree, bro. It's going with the times. You know why? Because not even. I just said that is dying. No, it was, it was, is it a dying art or are people just going with the times? Or maybe it's both. It's I don't know. I can't thing. fucking read. Wait, maybe it's, maybe it's the same thing. Nah, whatever. But, but my, my, my point is that it's, it's, dying. it's going with the times because I feel like everybody on that whole shit now, myself included. Are yes. you on that whole shit? I feel like everybody needs a whole face. I'm on my whole face now. Are you, are you in your whole face right you now? You see me with this? 
motherfucker. I like a motherfucker. Yo, yo this motherfucker this took a picture right the other here. day on the gram. Yes. No shirt on. Yes. Oh, yes. Actually, with, yeah. Y'all saw that, right? With the abs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't know what those got, though. I reported this shit as spam. This motherfucker reported it as spam yes. and then told me I he reported it as spam. Yes, oh, I'm a real one. I, I didn't want, even know how those got there. I was just like, oh, where those come I from? I don't want that running around <laughs> my timeline. He hit my line quick. I want I want whatever you do, send me that now. Right, come on, he wasn't supposed to say all that shit. Before, <laughs> before, <laughs> then you reported it as spam. You can tell a secret. <laughs> yeah. You reported it yeah, as spam. Yeah, I want whatever you do, I want to do, but I'm going to report this as spam. Get that picture immediately. That's that whole down. energy. That's what we need more of in the world. In the world. Talk about chivalry now. We need more of that whole energy. That's what I like. That's and, what and you have it? I feel like I've acquired some in recent time, in recent days. You look like a whole <laughs> ass thing. <laughs> Yes. What's wrong with that? You know, whole I, ass thing. I do want to yeah. make a statement. I do want to make a statement. Right? Shut your whole ass <laughs> up. <laughs> I got something to say. Wait. As, Shut your whole as ass a up. Certified hoe in the room. I got, I got something to say. Right? Ooh, I got something certified. to say. Nigga certified himself. <laughs> yeah. I, I got. I, went, I filed for the publication. I, I'm certified. It's <laughs> here's what I've learned. Right. At least up until this point, is that it's a cold world when it comes to this dating game. Right. And, mm. I, and I wish the other two was here so we could tell more about it. But it, this, it really is a cold world. I've been burned many a times, right? I'm not saying I'm going to go out and do some burning now, but all I'm saying is, you oh, know what? You he don't even understand what he's saying right now. I, you know what I'm, no, but this is what I'm saying. This is what I, how I honestly feel. Right? Sometimes you got to save quote from quote. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I think. I don't burn anybody. I don't burn anybody. Bad choice of words. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. This is, mm, mm, reel it in. If you in a house fire, if you in a building and the building is coming down on you, right? You get one or two, you gonna run out the house. I've run out of many a house. Now I'm gonna just go down with the building. That's it. You know? That's all I'm saying. Hoes always try to get deep, but don't make no <laughs> sense. Use a hoe, bro. That don't make no sense. That makes sense. Just think about it. Just think Nigga about said it. If the building's burning, if the building coming down, uh, I'm gonna just get out the building. To, to, to quickly yeah. the question, oh, uh. chivalry is dying, yeah, but it also is a reflection of the times that we in. That's, that's just keeping it real. That's literally the same thing. This it's dying because hey, of the I thought time he was your nigga Quigs. Quigs. Asked the question. That's some stupid the shit. Question. He gave two bad choices. <laughs> Next question. Let's go. Ring oh, it up. Man. Questions with Quo. Let's go. Oh, this is from Carol Ann. This is an interesting one. What's her name? Carol Ann. Carol Ann. Carol Ann. Carol Ann. Carol Ann. Oh, Carol Ann. Carol Ann. Carol oh, Carol Ann. Ann. Yeah. She's white. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers uh, can't read. Yeah, in yeah. yeah. I, I know. I know white people. Uh, I know my white names. Uh, I, know, nigga, nigga, no I like white names. It's okay. <laughs> God. What is I the most sure. valuable piece of advice that you would give a sixteen-year-old? It says she says sixteen year old and a twenty one year old that you wish you knew at that age. But actually, let me let me just rephrase that. Right. Valuable advice you would give to a sixteen or twenty one year old, but it doesn't have to necessarily be in regards to comedy because a lot of us is geared towards comedy. Somebody at that age where they don't know what the fuck is going on and they're trying to figure it out. I'm gonna. I got some advice too. Well, I checked out real quick. I'm sorry. Go ahead one more time. Advice you give to a sixteen year old who's trying to figure it out. Just life. Yeah, because well, life. Yeah, life. Because, you know, that's the, that's the age where you got to make a lot of decisions. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing at 16. Well, the truth of the matter is, at that age, a lot of the things you're doing right now don't matter. Mm. It don't matter. Like They're not going to tell you that. but No, nah, it really don't matter. Like, think about it. You're 16. Teachers are still trying to push on you that you need school to be successful. Right. That's the biggest misconception I've ever heard. The most successful people I know... Ain't never been to college. I know that, millionaires. Yeah. Never been to college. So it's the biggest. You 16, try everything. Fuck up. Get all your fuck ups in now. You 16, you got the world ahead of you. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. No, that's that's fair. And then, and then what was the next age if you 20? 21. If you 21, I right, stop fucking up now. <laughs> nah. It's just starting to count. At, fucking up at 21? I was fucking up at 21. This shit is starting to count because at 21, it turned into 23 real quick. Yeah, that, yeah. And the wrong fuck, you, you fuck up differently at 21 than you do at 16. Two Fucking up at 16 is, I oh, didn't study for the quiz. Fucking oh. up at twenty one is I ain't using no condom. Oh, okay. see, it's two All different right. fucking yeah, that's ups. Two different fucking. You see ups. what I'm saying? <laughs> this is two very different fucking. Ups. So, fucking up at twenty one is like, whoa, I should really slow down on the highway. Wow. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. This is different types of fucking up. The, you fuck up at 21, that shit could change everything. Wow. I, I, fucking up at 21 is, damn, I shouldn't drink before I drive. 
Yeah. Mm, respect. Wow. You see what I'm saying? I fucked his head up. Yeah, no, you fucked my head up. And then now you're 23 because you just got out of jail for drinking and driving with a suspended license. That's revoked license, I should say. Revoked? Oh, you got the official terminology too? Well, no, revoke means you ain't got no license. You're going you gonna to tell me what the shit. Oh, Sus- wait, that's what I mean? <laughs> see how he tried to get with, with my camera with my camera you see, you see how he just tried to check a real one that's what it means oh you gonna tell me what revoke means <laughs> can, we, can, I, can I get the definition on that oh, one that's what it means. that was they take that shit and you don't oh, oh that's what it means <laughs> Nigga I get, got the degree he I gave himself a list that's I was going. I got the degree. I feel like I should. All right. That's, that's, <laughs> Felt like I should know. That's all right. what it means. I thought. I thought I had. I had a whole separate definition. Revoke means you had a license. Mm. Suspended meaning the minute you grab it back. Oh, but don't use it. I knew suspend. I knew suspend. <laughs> Revoke's a big word. Goofy motherfucker. But you talk. You don't want me to start wearing my leather to the fucking show. Do it. Where it be- at? Oh, it's in the mail? I'm waiting. Where is it at? No, they're making it. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. I, I, yeah. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 stop that. That custom leather is different. <laughs> and I had my shit on earlier if you was like, oh, God. I that see, shit is amazing. I can't talk shit because I see what Because if shit I have my like. shit on right now, I, nobody I would even notice you I had your shit on. I can't. All right, all right. Come on now. Come on now. This is fly. This is fly. But Shout out to my man. My, everybody over at Leather Closet because they hooked me up real Shout out to my man over at Leather Closet. My man, Mike. Go check him out, man. Go check him out, man. Um... That la- the last question we got again from Quigley is what stocks is everybody looking into? Is I don't know, nigga. I about I about who acts. We I don't know. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I didn't. I, I don't Quigley. know about stock. Yo, Tesla about to do something big. That is. B- go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna let you take over first before I jump in. Like I may take people there. I think their company is about to go wild crazy because I'm trying to buy a Tesla right now. I can't because mm-hmm. the one I want they. What they did was their Model X and their Model S, they stopped selling. Like, you can't go get one right now. Right. You got to pre-order it because they did something crazy to that interior, bro. They took the the top of the steering wheel off. Oh, they made it that controller shit. The yoke steering wheel is fire. They call it the yoke? Oh, that's, yeah. Oh, wow. Because if you keep saying some stupid shit, I'm going to have to yoke your bitch ass up. <laughs> I'm it looks like yoke. a PS5 controller. It I'm going really to have to yoke your whole ass up. Nigga. <laughs> this so, motherfucker's stupid. But nah, it's the yoke steering wheel. I think that's the new wave. Think about before we've ever known anything about cars, it's been a circle steering wheel. They, they switched all of that. So the yoke steering wheel, I think, is and the, the screen is, you know, it's horizontal. Now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think Tesla is about to go to the next level. So I want what company goes, hey, I'm about to redo these cars. So I don't even we don't even want nobody buying this shit yet because it's about to go. It's about to go. It's about to go up. So I think just the way they're so forward thinking. This thing is talking about yoke, but I'll tell you what. All I all I need to know. I would fuck with eleven dollars on the fill up. That's all oh. you need to know about Tesla. Why I'm about to that's have that's on one. the truck. Eleven dollars yeah. on the fill up. Yeah, no, we not we not even talking gas no more. I'm sold. He's, it's, it's like seven dollars on the smaller. This car, nigga so. getting everybody into Tesla now. It's like once you start thinking about it, it's like it's now you start seeing them everywhere. He he got me so convinced that now I had a Tesla in my shopping cart on my phone, <laughs> just sitting there. Oh, just sitting there. <laughs> it was just, it's still in the car. You know how I feel with the Teslas because you could pay for it with Apple Pay. Boop. You could double click twice on your phone and, and then you got the, the, the boom, facial recognition. And then facial recognition. My shit already popped up. It already knows what I'm buy, talking about. I'm about to buy a Tesla. And it's just, it literally it's in my cart, and I'm just like, whoa! I could literally do this right now. Then they and they send it to your crib, right? Yeah. No, they mail it to you. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know they ship. Yeah, it. man. This is. Electric vehicles, you got me on that shit. If y'all ain't fucking with the Tesla, I've been now, on Tesla for about six years. Do your homework on Tesla. He did his homework on Tesla. Yeah, I, I I've been watching them back when they had the Model S, that one car, and then I just seen the way it grew. I like the way their company has grown, and mm-hmm. I think they think forward, so it's only going to continue to grow. What you think? That X stock looked different. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought I was talking about the car thing. Yeah. I don't on. really know stocks. I, 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 I don't either, but I know companies and companies have stock in them. So here's what I know. I know that if I think you should invest in it, it's probably a bad idea. That's what I know. So what do you think we should invest in? Brazzers? <laughs> hey, look. Hey, hey look. Yo, wrong ass with that. Nigga. Come on, man. Come on, yo. man. Yo. All right, bro. Wrong. Let's with get the- into it. <laughs> truth for truth. It's just me and you. One question. Some Anything. Shit. Boom. All right? That's interesting. I believe in transparency. That's interesting. I could ask anything. You could ask anything. It, it, it's interesting because I know this nigga so well, right? But it's, I, there's, always, there's always some shit that I could ask. 
There's always something. A nigga bragging how well he know me. I know this nigga. He don't even I, know. I'll be lying in the moment. <laughs> moment. I, I know this nigga. Y'all don't even know. I really know this nigga. I really know. <laughs> you keep telling that. All right, cool. Boom. I'm going first. <laughs> Go ahead. True that's, for that's true. Your that's your shit. Boom. Let me hear you first. Cause I got one now, but go ahead. <laughs> if you could eat any ass right now, any ass tonight, whose ass would it be? Now I've thought about this, oh, and I have an answer. <laughs> because oh, oh, <laughs> see, he set up, he set, up, he set me up with a whole question, so uh-huh. I'm a literally exposed. You said that's who you are, and I and I appreciate your. Well, we were talking about chivalry, and I do think there's something wrong with that, but. If one ass you could eat right now, whose ass would it be? Am I wrong if I say Kim Kardashian? Am, am I wrong if I say that? That's like legend. Kim K? That's that's like Hall of Fame level ass. Like, why would you not do that? I guess. I think it's Hall of Fame. I don't know. Think so? I, it's that's not Hall of Fame level. It that's depend, your question. It depends on, on your league. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. This ain't my question for you. But why? You got one? Oh, what? 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 We're good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, quiet, quiet. Yeah, he quiet. quiet. I, I, I'm not a Kardashian. <laughs> fan. You not, he's not a Kardashian. But I, fan. I thought you was gonna go with one of your shorties. All right, cool. That's what's nah, up. Nah, it's, it's fine. All right, he, he kept chaos. <laughs> All right, cool. Go ahead. Let's go. My question. He said your question. All right. Since we on the topic of whole shit, when do you feel? Yeah, uh, yeah. We talking about me, right? I gave my life to God, man. <laughs> After your whole phase, probably. But do you think a whole phase is important? And if so, why? Since I met you, what I've been telling you to go over to the dark side, see what they got over there for you. <laughs> he been telling me that. He said, go see what's on the dark That's side. That's what he was supposed to be doing all last summer. <laughs> That's what he said. He's like, nah, <laughs> fuck that. I'm going to church. All right, cool. Respect. Man, go to church. That shit didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, shit, that shit didn't work out. Go to church. Last summer was hard. And, oh, not, and not as hard as me, but that, but that summer was oh, hard. That gotta shit. pause that, bro. Nah, but, all right. All right, all right, all right, no, no, no. Never I tell that. another I man no, how hard no, you no, are. No, no. I, I ain't mean it. I ain't, like I mean, life was like right. <laughs> dad should have taught you that. But go ahead. What was the question for me? Oh Lord have mercy. I'm gonna just drop the whole shit. Let me just ask you a genuine question, right? Yeah. Real talk. We're talking about advice that you could give people and all that kind of fun shit and all that. But real talk, one thing you've learned that you feel is probably the most important thing that's gotten you up until this point that's gonna keep you going. It just it, it could be comedy related, life related. Most important lesson you feel like you've gotten up until this point that keeps you going. I oh, don't know, bro. Oh, when Wax say, what's the question again? The most important lesson you've learned. When Wax say, yo, this who's Wax shit going to have you chilling? It's going to have you feeling, listen to that man. They get high off his couch for seven hours. Bro, I was, I was, yeah, I was, I was, was nice. Out. I, was I wasn't fucking, I was nice. Shout out to my man Wax. That's it. Oh, wow. Nah, yeah. if anything, I would just say, yo, you really could do whatever you want, bro. I live my dream every single day. I'm alive. I'm alive. Mm-hmm. Do that shit. I fuck with that. No, nah, that's really. it. You could do whatever you want. It sounds cliche and all that bullshit, but it's like, yo, it's that's really what it come down to. At the end of the day, that's really what it come down to. Yeah. You got one life to live. You might as well live it. That's what might I might mean. as well. I'm gonna live mine. You know what I mean, well, look, it, life is so like you. You gonna wake up tomorrow should be different. Just like that. Just like that. So why not do what it is you want to do? That's what, you know what I'm saying? As long as you don't hurt yourself. That's, that's, that's the most important thing. Just, just, don't, just don't hurt yourself. Come on, don't do that. Don't do that. You what sound like me when I be telling you you don't be beating your dick. Like, oh, bro, don't hurt yourself. Yeah, I don't, I don't like how you be doing that. And then <laughs> you wait for moments where he knows that I'm doing it and he'll call. How I know what you're doing? You call different. me when he knows. <laughs> I don't like know nothing. Shit. Yo, you stupid for that, man. I just I had to call sometimes, him to tell you something real quick. motherfuckers are stressed out. I had to call him, give him these lotto numbers real quick. Yo, <laughs> and he'll do this shit where he'll, he'll call me when I'm like, when I'm handling my business. And nigga, <laughs> Come on, bro. I don't know none of that. <laughs> this nigga. I'm just checking in, making sure a nigga good, you know what I mean? <laughs> they click, hang up, but man, I'm about to sign off. You got anything left to say? Uh, yeah, um, he a whole ass <laughs> nigga, right? <laughs> Yo, this Welly's Yo. World Podcast. Remember, rate, review us on Apple Podcasts, check us out and subscribe to the YouTube as well, please, and thank you. Shout out to A1 show. Flag Co. for the banner, man. Yes. They got custom banners, man. Shout out to them. Good, yes. Yo. Welly's World Podcast, rate and review, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, Apple, I mean, Apple Podcast, Spotify. See what it's about, y'all. See y'all next week. Doggy on a beat.